Oh, Hi, it's Thursday. You're watching Thirsty Thursday, the show where it's Thursday and we get fu- We drink very responsibly. <laughs> so welcome to week two of Margaritas. That's a month of March where you just drink margaritas. I made it up and it's my favorite. I thought for this week we'd do something a little bit fancier and make some watermelon frozen margaritas because blenders give you options like that. I've had watermelon margaritas before that were like made from watermelon syrup and gross shit like that. This one is made from actual fresh watermelons. Okay, so it's better. I don't need any more questions asked. I've never made a watermelon margarita with actual watermelon chunks, so I'm really excited to see how that turns out. I love me some margaritas and I love me some watermelon. I feel like they should be friends. So let's make this drink. To make this drink, you will need a white tequila. We're doing Don Julio Blanco, cause it's the best. A triple sec, we're doing Quantro. Con Quantro, I can't say that name. A half a cup of white sugar, three strips of orange zest. I told you we was getting fancy. Two cups of cubed seeded watermelon. I put mine in the freezer so they're frozen chunks. Instead of using ice cubes, we're gonna use these. A fourth a cup of lime juice. Maybe that's three limes, four limes, I don't know. We'll find out together as a team. And if you're not freezing your watermelon, you could always use crushed ice, but we're Super fancy, I don't know how many times I have to say that. Let's get started. Margaritas, I want them inside of my body. You ready to make a fancy drink? Yeah, girl. So we're gonna start by making our own simple syrup. Have you ever made a simple syrup? Uh, no. Well, it's simple. Can you believe that? I'll show you. Sorry, I'm trying not to look miserable. I got a, I got a note last week that I just look miserable. You do always look miserable. What do I do about that? Well, like, I don't know, smile. I don't smile though. I don't do that. I don't do that. Oh, you're too cool for that. Yeah, I'm just you're too, I'm just too cool, cool to smile. I think you're so cool. Like. You ever oh. see a picture of James Dean smiling? There you go. Well, no, we could, but I'm a lot sure of similarities he, here. Maybe he would have later in his life, like by the time he was your age. No. All right, James Dean. Want to help me make a simple syrup? Yeah, sure. Half cup of sugar and half a cup of water. Is that a half cup? That is a half cup. I measured it for you because I didn't trust you. What do I do with it? You put it in that pot. You use different measuring cups for liquids and dry ingredients. Sure I learned from all of the comments. Half cup. Did you put these down? Did you learn science? See, that's a cup. Shit. Like <laughs> when I was in the grocery store tonight, I didn't wear my glasses and it was just a shit show. It's okay, honey. That's why I'm here. Yeah. To check everything you do. Alright. It's actually gonna be orange simple syrup, so we're gonna put these zests, orange zests, in there. Right. Let's just stir until the sugar is all dissolved, but it looks like all dissolved already. I say we call it. All right, we made a simple syrup. So simple. I just want to do a good job though. It's like I feel like usually simple syrup is like more syrupy. Absolutely. This feels like math all over again. Once we, we have tequila too, everything's going to be fine. Measure out two cups of watermelon. This margarita doesn't turn out. I'm blaming Steve. Whatever, I know. It's my fault. I actually agree with you. You can fit more watermelon. Okay. Good, yeah. Just, yeah. Well, I'll, put, I'll put all this in. Yeah. Just fuck it. You know, like, yeah, I like watermelon. You know, like, I fucking like watermelon. We already fucked up. We already fucked up. <laughs> we fucked up, okay? Right, Just leave us alone. Do? Simple syrup in there. But don't get the orange in there. Okay. So, don't get the orange. Cool. Cool. We need a fourth cup of lime juice. Get to squeeze in. Oh, okay. Cut it. He's tried to put a whole lime in the squeezer. I'm not trying to call him out, but he did that. I'm just you saying. Call me out, dude. I'm just saying. I'm, he I did that. It. If I deserve it, call me out. Okay, he did that. That's fine. <laughs> he tried to put a whole lime in the It should work. In the squeezer. It's not my fault that whoever, whoever dumbass invented this like didn't think of putting a whole lime in it. <laughs> Fucking stupid dumb dumb. I hope some kids watching right now and like, like, it's like my name is Brandon Lime Squeezer. My father invented the lime squeezer and he's very offended. For us, this is three halves of a lime. Shit, bro. Of limes. Of two limes. Three halves. One and a half limes. You do so much quicker if you just put one lime in. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. Oh, that's enough. Third cup. No, that's fine. We put a lot of warm Maybe we'll make the most epic one ever. I know. Fuck these people. Fuck these people and their stupid rules and their stupid directions. They didn't even want triple sec in there. I'm like, it's not a margarita if there's no triple sec. So. What's triple sec again? Bam. This. Three fourths cup of tequila. That's like all the way up to here, bud. Yeah. Holy smacks. Holy smacks. It's so much time. Put one fourth of uh, that. One fourth of corn One fourth of that. Yeah. Right. That's pretty good. Put that in. Put that in there. I think I nailed that. Okay, cool. Yo, this is about to go off, yo. Let's see how we did. <laughs> <laughs>
easy. That's why I'm, I'm never gonna talk. Looks pretty good, man. Yeah. The color it's looks good. good. Yeah. It doesn't look too watery. Yeah, I love this recipe. We yeah. made a better one. I hope we did. <laughs> Me too. We're gonna take the slime wedge and you're gonna rim around the, the, the rim. Okay, yeah, yeah. Then you're gonna roll it in this salt and you, sugar you, mixture. Like Boom, look at that, guy. Okay? Look at that. That's really pretty. Presentation Yo, is everything. Out. So check it out. Yep. even if it doesn't taste good, I'm still really proud of us. It looks really bomb. It looks pretty bomb. Dude, that's bomb as fuck. That's actually really good, yo. That's really good. Can't taste the alcohol at all. That's my new Damn. favorite margarita. That's really good. New favorite! This is watermelons. It's not even ice. There's not even ice in there. No, there's no ice, yeah. That's, okay, that's such a good idea not to use ice. Dude, that's bomb as fuck. That was worth it. Yeah, that was actually tight. Who knew that my favorite fruit and my favorite tequila and a bunch of sugar would taste so good? It's a good idea, actually. I got brain freeze. I never would think I would like a watermelon margarita, frankly. Really? Why? Because it's too much of a girl drink? No, 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 no. no I like Because you're drink. really manly, man. No, I actually like girl drinks. Now, my point being that, um, I don't know, I'm just gonna whiskey guy, and I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, no, my point is, basically, I'm just not into watermelon that much, usually. Like yeah. I like to, I like the fruit on its own, but usually watermelon flavored things well, yeah, taste like to well, me. That's, this isn't a watermelon flavored thing. That's why it's an actual watermelon. I think that's what it is. Watermelon. Good job. Good job to you too. Nah, it was you. Yeah, it was me. Well, thank you for watching us. Um, you know, kind of schlub our way through a watermelon margarita. Yeah. I think it turned out great. It's really good. I suggest schlubbing your way through life. Maybe it'll turn out great also. I think work hard. Focus every day. Nah. I think you can do anything. I really do. I absolutely believe you that. You can't do anything. Yeah, you I, can't jump off a building with with like no support, no parachute. I think if you really believe in yourself, you could absolutely jump off a building with no support, no parachute. Mm -hmm. If you but you have to believe in yourself. You should try it. Anyway, you hear any cool stories lately? <laughs> this is a bad first date. Yeah. <laughs> this turned into a bad first date. Oh my gosh, my phone! I lost I'm, I have an it. emergency. I have an emergency. If I could find my, my friend's phone. calling me. My phone is missing, so that's an emergency. I need to find it. Okay, so uh, what was your name again? You know, I'll text you when I find my phone. I can't find it though. It's pretty lost. So, um, oh anyway, gosh, I'll have to help uh, you here. Uh, yeah. So, um, uh, subscribe. So you don't miss anything. I don't see it. Are you I'll sure you? Later. Are you sure you brought it? Oh yeah, I definitely hmm. I brought it and it's someone stole it. Yeah, probably. I just don't see it anywhere. Probably someone stole it. I don't know, I think maybe hey, you didn't bring it. You need a ride home? Okay, bye! You need a ride home? Oh no, my friend, she's got it. Oh, well, I'm right here. I easily get you a ride. I got my car parked out front. I actually got a great spot when I was pulling up. Came here about an hour and a half early. <laughs> Found a great spot right out front. And I thought, wow, this is actually perfect time for me to come. I should come. Uh, to, to all my dates this early, and so I do now. That's what I do now. Um, show up extra early, get a real good spot, um, and then you can kind of manage the night. You can kind of game plan the night uh, once you're there and you're sitting down. You can kind of figure out what you're going to do, what you're going to say, what you're going to talk about. If thing, if there's a lull, you know, I freak out. Like, oh, okay, there's going to be a lull. What should I talk about? Okay, well, I will talk about what'd you do for Valentine's Day, you know? I'm like, what'd you do for Valentine's Day? And then I change the subject. Just getting lit on Jesus blood over here, don't mind me.